Hello everyone, it's me, Nintendo LP or Z Dude. Now you guys might be wondering what are we doing on the main menu for the game? Well there was an update done and I want to show it off. The update wasn't just one of those uh as I call it soft updates where they just re you know update the uh firmware or whatever to make the game more friendly for the frames per second to minimize lag and whatnot. No, the most recent update to the game that you can get off the eShop for the Wii U version, and I'm not sure how it works with the Switch since I don't have a Switch, however it works, um, you go into the main menu on the Wii U version at the very least, and you can change the voice there. You can't change it in-game. Not sure if you can on the Switch. So I'm just going to play one of the cutscenes in... Hmm... I mean, I do Japanese, but I feel like that's a little overdone, so I, we're going to do German, okay? Um, and also, I'm going to, for the rest of this Let's Play, I'm going to play it with the HUD mode set to Pro, just because I know Hyrule well enough. <laughs> so, yeah, and it'll also be a little challenge to myself. So, yeah, there we go, use Amiibo. Alright, so uh, we'll continue. I'll play one cutscene for you guys. One memory in that language, and then... It will still have English subtitles, by the way. But after that, I will do a cut and, you know, just keep in mind the setting will be changed back to English. Only because I don't want to be playing it in that with the cutscenes being in that language. And forgetting that it is, and then I'm like, oh, well. Oops. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't want to force you guys to be watching something like a Let's Play where it's pretty much the cutscenes are English subbed. <laughs> You know, I'd rather make it easier on you guys, so, uh, but for now, I just want to show it off. So, we'll go here. You could view your memories here. I'm not sure if I showed it off, but you can. So, I'm going to go play this subdued memory since you hear each of the champions that way, so I'll be quiet now. Held von Hyrule, vom heiligen Bandschwert erkoren. Du hast unerschütterlichen Mut und vollendete Schwertkunst unter Beweis gestellt. Ich segne dich im Namen der Göttin Hylia. Ob du durch die Lüfte fliegst, durch die Zeiten wandelst oder in die Schatten eintauchst, das Schwert ist immer ein Teil deiner Seele, o oh Held. Du und das Bannschwert, ihr möget von Kraft, von Mut und von Weisheit erfüllt sein. Bannschwert, das unvorstellbare Zeiten überdauert. Mann, oh Mann. Geht's noch dramatischer? In der Hand des Helden. Was redest du da? Der edle Ritter ist jetzt ihr Leibwächter. Diese alte Zeremonie dafür nachzuäffen, war doch deine eigene Glanzidee. Der Held die Meere überquert oder eine Verbindung mit der Na ja, meine Meinung zu den Burschen kennt du ihr. Und die Prinzessin sieht auch nicht gerade begeistert aus. Oder? Du bei ihr ist es kein Wunder. Er hat sein Schicksal erfüllt, sie dagegen konnte es nie. Tja, er erinnert sie stets an ihr Scheitern. All right, I'll see you guys in a moment. <laughs> also, if you want to do it during the thing, just a little thing here. Go to voice change and then click to title screen. Make sure you say beforehand, though. Being as if you don't, you lose all your progress that you've done. Since all I did was change that one memory, I didn't lose anything. So, yeah. Just letting you guys know. Then from there, you can change it back to match system settings or whatnot. My system settings are set to English, so there we go. So now, with the proper introduction to the Let's Play, as I've said before, there was no other update, so hello everyone, I am Nintendo LP or Z Dude, here with the next episode of my Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the previous episode, or the last episode rather, we took care of the Divine Beast Va... Nab... 
Namboris, I believe it's called is yeah, Namboris, there we go. <laughs> I shouldn't say be saying Jesus Christ, I should be saying Link Christ. I mean I guess Link would be the equivalent of Jesus in uh Legend of Zelda. I mean would that make sense, would it not? Huh, I don't really know. Anyways, anyways, we're gonna go and begin work on getting the uh, Thunder Helm. There are several side quests that you should undertake before you, or that you have to complete before you can get them. You have to clear all of the issues here. So let's continue. Halt! That is the treasure of the Gerudo, the Thunder Helm. You may be held in high esteem, but this does not give you the freedom to lay your hands on the pride of our people. Be calm yourself, Ballora. You desire this helm? I want it. I see. And yet, despite the great debt we owe you, I cannot just give such a precious thing to you. But you are up against the enemy, Lady Urbosa. And if you truly desire it, then perhaps I can lend it to you. Yes, lend it to me. Well then, let's see how serious you are. This helm is a cultural treasure. Or should I say, national treasure? I don't know why. Just that movie came to mind. Anyways, to earn it, you must gain the trust of our people. I want you to address their concerns and bring re a resolute peace to our town. Alright, so we got this side quest of the Thunderhelm. We already know that you are powerful, but you can't solve all of my people's problems with power alone. You think I'm Ganon? You think I'm Ganon, bitch! <laughs> Ouch. That never happened before. I guess that makes sense, but... That really never happened before. Jeez. Huh. I was unaware if you swung your sword towards her. Then Ballora would attack you. I mean, it makes sense in retrospect, but still, I'd never thought of that. <laughs> oh, the things you learn, the things you learn, you know? I'm just surprised it didn't take away any hearts, you know? That would have made sense for it to be one heart, but still, whatever. What? 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 Barda didn't come back again? I'm afraid this time she went to investigate the Levian bones in the southwest. I, I tried to stop her. But obviously it didn't work because she's not here. Well, yeah. <laughs> but everyone knows that area is the domain of the, of the Mulduga. So who would figure she'd even go close to there? Alright. Alright, blah, blah. And so we have this side quest to search for Barda. I'm going to take care of a few side quests in this episode. There's going to be very... There's not really going to be, how should I put it, story progress in this episode. I mean, there won't be in for a few episodes because, you know... Hold on, I need to do a little something here. Let's go to the main quest, uh, Free the Divine Beast. As you can see, the next one will be either here, will be one of these three dots, so just to make it to one of those, we have to, uh, traverse quite a bit, so it is not exactly easy or a quick thing, you know? So I'm just saying, you know, there's not going to be any story progress for a number of episodes, but this is a good time for me to get through some, uh, side quests here. Special drinks. Um, well, a big part of the drink is the ice we use in the ice house. Ice house. It's an eye house. Jesus. <sighs> it makes them especially refreshing. Well, you're a little too young to be here, don't you? <laughs> Maybe. No, I'm not. I'm over a hundred. You ever hear of carbon freezing? Jesus. Well, of course not. You people are here sweating your butts off. <laughs> oh, I don't mean to sound mean. But then again, that's a little redundant, isn't it? I don't mean to sound mean. I mean, that's just weird. It's weird phrasing. Uh. Wow, look at all that garbage there. Huh. Oh, I need to find the source of the garbage right now. Let's follow it, follow it, follow it to hell. I mean, those are good looking um, melons. I think they'd be, um, Mangoes or not mangoes. Actually, I think that would be what they're called in this in the real world. Mangoes, huh? We're getting close though. There's someone eating them there. 
Favorite thing I like is that you can move while doing that. A lot of games put you in first person, but lock you to a one spot alone. Aww. Nuts with you. How am I supposed to enjoy eating with you staring at me? Buzz off. Oh, God. She's rude. She's rude! What time is it? Uh, 6 to 5? Okay. I'm guessing now the kids should be there. There's a certain side quest I'm trying to start. Now I'm trying to complete here first because it's here and I don't... Yeah, there she is. That's the girl I'm looking for. We need to wait though. We need to wait. 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 I'm sorry to repeat, but we need to wait. And now we go. Bye from out of town. Savota. I wanted to plant an orchard here. I picked up trash. I pulled the weeds. I tilled the ground. I did all the stuff you're supposed to do to make the earth happy. But, but, the trash. No, this trash keeps getting washed out into the water trough. And now I can't use the water there anymore. If I can't use the water anymore, my orchard is doomed. All right, the mystery polluter. We actually saw the polluter before. So, let's go back to her. Enjoy eating my foot. You can in No, that just sounds wrong, actually. Don't eat my foot. I mean, if you get you to stop polluting, I guess I could give you one of my feet, as long as there are prosthetics here. Uh, I mean, Link has changed forms before. A la Majora's Mask, so I don't think it's that bad. But we are in the middle of a desert. I think Majora's Mask had a desert. Never beat the game. Don't know why I'm trying to reference that game so much right now. Anyways, let's continue on. I mean it. I can't enjoy the snack with someone staring at me. Go away. Actually, you're ruining some kid's orchard. What? Garbage. A small vi is having trouble? Oh, sure. You spring this on me out of nowhere and expect me to change my lifestyle? Well, no. I do what I want. Aw, don't look at me like that. Fine, fine, I get it. But I need something from you in return. Altruism is for suckers. <laughs> Enjoy getting a man that way. A man ain't gonna love you if you don't believe in altruism. Oh, God. Just once, I'd like to eat a wild berry. You bring me a wild berry and I could hold off eating so many melons. Got it. Snowy areas of Gerudo Highlands. It's a dangerous region. Ah. Uh, there's barely a point if you only bring me one. At least ten! Alright. Let's see what our inventory holds. Do we even have... No, we don't. Okay. Alright, so I believe you can buy some here, but we do have to go to the Gerudo Highlands. Which is actually a reason why I wanted to start that side quest, because that one actually... How should I put it? Collaborates with another side quest that I want, that I believe we should do. Uh, let's see, what is this? Uh, heat resistant. Electricity. No, I'm just trying to think. I'll see you guys in a moment. I have to cook up a few foods if we want to survive in the Gerudo Highlands. Because to be honest, I know we uh, have the warm doublet, but that alone will not be enough at all. So even if I had the clothing, which I do know the challenge I put to myself, I pulled me the one. All right, I'm back because I'm actually got an idea for how I'm going to survive in the arid region. I've got to start bundling up items right now because we barely have any items right now. Oh. But let's turn that on. Grab that, grab that, because I'm actually going to need to use my torch for once when I get there. But there's a side quest that actually does go along with the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, with the current side quest we're on for to get more wild berries. And yes, it will include getting another shrine and. Or it will involve us visiting more shrines. So, hold on. Where's the human? That Hylian, rather. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. 
Yo, you hunk! Come here, you Hylian hunk, you... Sexy mon, you sexy, sexy mon. Savoda. Uh, so, mm. so yeah, hey, the name's Bozai. I'm 35, single, and I love jogging, especially on sand. Hey, everyone says I'm tenacious as a tick, and I think some of them meant it in a nice way too. So, you out here on your own? Pretty rough and tumble place. Want to hang out with me sometime? Ah, you notice these old things. Yeah, they're my sand boots. They allow me to traverse the desert without being slowed down at all. So jogging is a breeze. If you'd like to check them out, we could grab a quiet corner and... Give me those boots. Huh? Oh, well, here's the thing. These sand boots are super rare and I'd happily give them to you, but... Wait, this is a golden chance to woo. Hmm. I mean, sure, I'd love to give them to you, you hungry little boot monster. But first, a favor. Ever heard of the legend of the eighth heroin? Eighth heroin? Ah. Isn't that a drug? <laughs> I'm kidding. Everyone's heard the legend in the Gerudo uh, in the Gerudo region about the seven heroines, but some tell of an eighth heroin. Wiped clean from history, and no one knows why or how. A phantom heroin known to all, but seen by none. I've been taken with the legend since I was a child. Find her, show me the 8th heroine, and I'll give you these stand boots. What do you say? I'll go look. Uh, yes! Um, According to those who idolize the 8th heroine, she's enshrined somewhere in the Gerudo Highlands. Apparently, they even have a nickname for her, the Bronze Giant. Catchy. Beyond that, I don't really know much. Uh, who knows? There might be someone in Gerudo Town who knows more about the legend of the seven heroines. Maybe that info would help. I don't know. Anyway, draw a picture or something if you find her and then show me. I'm pretty picky about pictures, too. If you get one, make sure it's at least the statue's upper half that's visible, okay? Oh, and here, if you'd like, you can use these. I'm sure they'll come in handy. Besides, you seem really into boots. We got the snow boots! Temporarily, of course. Alright, so I'm gonna go into what he was pretty much pointing there. The 8th heroine. Alright. So what we got were uh, snow boots. It'll help us through the area. But for now, um, I'm going to go see you guys in a bit. I'm going to mark on my map where I built. So I'm trying to think. Um, there's the Gerudo Canyon Stable. So, um, yeah, okay. It'd be somewhere around here. So I'm going to mark that there for you guys to go to on your own. But for now, let I'm going to go rent a sand seal. We have 34 rupees. It's 20 rupees with a shield. So 40 without. So we have just enough. Sand seal? Seriously? Oh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, let's see how go. So, I'll see you guys in a bit, okay? I had a failed recording happen, so I'm actually having to re-record this whole thing with the cut, with this side quest. I'll play for you the end result of the failed recording, but, you know, in that failed recording, I actually activated two towers, and since then, it, like, auto-saved enough time so that I can't go back and reactivate them, but just know I will show you, like, one of the better ways to get them. Um, I also believe I have, yeah, I took a picture of this. I'll be showing you where to find that roughly right about now. Give me a few moments. I need to mark down on the map where he should be. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'll find it, like, right about here. Wait, not, let me edit. So, yeah, I, I apologize, but, yeah, in this shrine, I also got to appear by shooting a light arrow, a, um, shock arrow at that. That's what you have to do to get that shrine to appear. And then I activated it, and I even said that I was going to go back into, back in the next episode to active, <clears throat> not activate it, to go through it. But, yeah, that's not gonna work. That's good. Uh, really, really, really hate it when recordings don't work. Uh, sometimes, you now we let's players sometimes have delusions where our recording equipment just 
decides to give out during most critical of times, and they're just like laughing at us. Color's delusional, but it's what happens. Okay, Conroy goes through it. I go through it. PewDiePie goes through Every Let's Player goes through this mess. It's just a whole ordeal. Anyways, I'll see you guys at the sword, and then and when I get there, I'll take out my map and whatnot. And I'll be like, hey, yeah, that's where you find that sword thingy. Because, again, it was in the failed recording. Great. Great way to do this. Thank you, El Gato. You really know how to tick someone off. Uh, so I'll see you guys in a moment. So you can tell I'm not happy. I'm gonna end the cut here for just a few moments so I can say this one thing. I actually did locate a few other shrines. Didn't go about um, activating them in. Silver Lizalfos. He's <laughs> trying to spray me with water and I'm just climbing the mountain. He's like, he's not even aiming high enough. He's just like aiming right below me, like a few inches below me. It's like, oh, that was way too off. Really off. I, I, I'm beginning to think if this is like one of those, where to him, it's like one of those town fair things where it's like you're shooting that water gun and trying to hit that one clown or whatever and it's like oh yeah can you hit the <laughs> yeah it's can you hit the Hylian <laughs> instead of using a gun he's using his own source of water which you know I've always wondered how the hell would that even be possible for a creature to do that I guess it would be similar to how a creature blows fire but kind of like Charizard breathes fire or whatever it doesn't really make sense. Anyways, here's the sword. What you want to do is you want to take a picture of it because this isn't for the side quest we're currently on. It's for a different one. So there's that. There's the sword. I showed you how to get there. You know, you just want to come to this part of the map. And, um, yeah. And now for the one thing we have to get to is here. So I'm going to go around. There's a Lionel and they actually find some sort of detection and hearing. Wait, like my ex-girlfriend. Like my first ex-girlfriend. <laughs> really good hearing. And that's not a zing. It, she actually did have great hearing. I actually once said very bad things about her on the, and I was on the first floor and she was on the second floor. She came to me, no one told her because no one was around and she yelled at me. Don't know how that's possible, but she did. Yeah, and there's a shrine. You know, one reason why I love coming up to high vantage points is because of stuff like this. So, yeah. Yep. I know what I said in the beginning, though, that I'd be playing with, like, the pro HUD mode. But for stuff like this, I will be playing with, um... The map on only because I find it will be easier. So, yeah. Okay, we're getting close. I'm not really gonna do a cut right now because all I gotta do is take a picture. I took a pic. I guess you could say I took a picture of the. Not what I want. Right, there we go. It's getting quite dark out right now. All right, we're coming up on it. I think you saw it there. Oh my bad. Yeah, I'll be taking care of that later. I don't even know where. Oh, I see there. Yeah, no thanks. Alright, what you want to do from here is jump down, glide, because you could actually see it, but we need to get a better vantage. Right. So, let's try to go down a bit. Land, land. I'm on land. There we go. He ain't making it back up here, that's for certain. Oh, dear lord. Sometimes the game likes to make up for the 
crap it puts me through. And then, and at that point, I'm just happy. I'm happy as can be. So, uh, let's go take a picture. And now that that's done, we can finally... No, I wanted to go to the pin and delete. There we go. We can go back to Gerudo Town, the Da Quasi Shrine, or however it's pronounced. Uh, the things I do for my YouTube videos of which I don't really make money, that much money off of. It's a nightmare. It's a conspiracy, I tell ya. It's a conspiracy. It's a, it's a conspiracy -cal society. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm probably not even funny. I think I'm the opposite of funny. I, I sometimes wonder if I'm even funny. Ah, well. Some people might say I am. Other people might say I'm not. I don't really know what to believe. You want to put on this outfit again because... We'll locate and there he is and also one trick because you're slowed down in the sand and he isn't we'll climb up this down walls yeah you aren't affected by sand when up here so you can run normally instead of slowed down can you should be turning the corner right now yeah there we go <laughs> Jeez, it's almost like I know his traveling patterns. Ah, um, there he is. Let's jump down. And the one thing you want to do is talk to him. I'm not going to read it. It's going to be a little much. A little much. And if I'm not missing in this video is already going to be a bit long. So, here you go. It's the eighth hero heroine statue. That certainly is the way it was rumored to look. That... That's amazing. I thought it was just an old wives tale. The eighth heroine actually exists? If the rest of the world knew this, it'd be absolute bedlam. But I won't tell anyone. Uh, yeah, that way it'll be a it'll just be our little secret, right? Sort of a bonding thing. And yet, it if it's okay, I'd like to take this opportunity to ask you sand boots, please. Huh. Oh. Oh, okay. Just a second, I'll take him off. <laughs> and we receive the sand boots permanently. Treat them as tenderly as you would me. <clears throat> and now, could you be a lamb and return my snow boots? Otherwise, all bonsai's gonna go going to be barefoot. Oh. All right, we're done here. Boy. But these will make running in the sand pretty difficult, and I'm pretty tired anyway from my jogging regimen. I think I'll just park myself under the tent in front of Gerudo Town and take five. Care to join me later? Goodbye. Oh. Huh? Oh. Good. Goodbye. <laughs> <sighs> so, yeah, we got this, uh, the sand boots. Almost said snow boots there. What you want to do is you want to begin running, running. Come on. Waste my stamina here. Running, running, and then you want to change back into the Gerudo Swirl. There we go. You! You came! I mean, hey, yeah, of course. Figure you'd swing by. Yep, do the old swing by. We didn't get a chance to spend much time together earlier, did we? Whoosh! Total whirlwind. So, want to hang out? I want snow boots. Mm -hmm. What? You want my snow boots too? <laughs> ha! Well, aren't we greedy? Or should I say, insatiable for boots? A boot thirst that cannot be staked. That cannot be salt staked. Adorable, but listen, if I give you these, and I'll have nothing for my feet. Aww. Oh man, what should I do? Think bonsai or bozai can't put her in a bad mood. Okay, do not blow this. Just relax and work a little verbal magic. How could I resist a request from you? No lie. You really gave me a surprise earlier. And I love surprises. Surprise me again like that. And I'll give you these snow boots as a surprise present. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you this. Did you notice that the statue under the 8th heroine isn't actually holding a sword? Pretty weird, right? Seven other heroines, they all have their swords. Suspicious, you know? Which leads me to deduce, yeah, he's going to ask you to go looking for the sword. And he says it's somewhere in the Gerudo Highlands. 
And so, if you remember what we did, er, what I showed you to do, it's the sword. Take a picture. Oh. And then talk to him again. <sighs> uh, feast your eyes, and you show him the picture of the sword of the eighth heroine. Mm -hmm. And you say snow boots, and then he's like, good. Okay, whatever. You showed me what I wanted. A deal's a deal. And you permanently get the snow boots. You have both. Both. All right. And then you say, not a chance when he tries to ask you out. <laughs> oh, what a... What a moron. He, he can't even tell that we're a man caught cross-dressing just to get into town. <laughs> and we scammed him out of his boots. Oh, I, I don't know who did more scamming, him or us. I mean, he put us in a life or death situation. Meanwhile, meanwhile, we just have, we just took his boots. So, uh, I don't know who's worse. But, Anyways, yeah. you know, she'll talk about this ball plan. Um, that'll give you... Three extra hearts, I believe, or something? Uh, let's be woken up in the morning. It's a little better to go back. And if you notice, my um, rupee count is different and that I have a uh, great flame blade. I Off screen, I actually went and did some training. I would show you these scenes because I was recording, but that recording even got screwed up. For some reason, oh, El Gother just loves messing up on me today. It's questionable. Yeah, three hearts. Okay. Three extra hearts. So, yeah, there we go. So, I think that'll actually do it for this episode. I'll go off screen and collect some, um, wild berries, you know, for that other side quest, and I'll, and then, you know, so in the next episode, we'll give ten wild berries to the person who's polluting the waters, the person who's up there, and whatnot, so, yeah, there's that, and, yeah, and we'll continue on trying to get the, uh, Thunder Helm. So I'll see you guys then. Like, comment, subscribe. This has been Nintendo LPRZ Dude, and I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe.